Hello everybody, Spider here, the Fight Card Podcast, coming to you on location here at the Ohana headquarters. And of course, being joined by Washington Louise, my man. Th- thank you for giving me a few minutes, bro. Anytime, bro. And uh, of course, man, I have you here for a few reasons, man. One of them is uh, that you came to us from way of Brazil. Now, this was uh, maybe like two, three years ago since you've been oh, here? No, actually, it has been already five years and eight months. You see, time flies, bro. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, I know it's been a while, <laughs> but man, I've been asleep for two years, so... I'm just not waking up, man. But of course, man, I wanna uh, I wanna say when you first came here, of course, it was through one of your uh, your students yeah, that invited you down here. Yeah, yeah, great supporting. I, I came here the first show helping him out in his uh, fight camp in LFA, and right after a couple months, I came to live. Yeah, and, from him. And what was it that uh, I guess convinced you to move over here, man? I mean, what was so, it that you liked about it? I, mean, I like a lot the, the support for the sport, right, in Brazil. Even though I was already the, the first Brazilian world champion in kickboxing, I still deal with hustle with the different jobs right. to remain to be an athlete. Over there, so hard to just be focused on one thing. You need to kind of hustle, get your side hustle to improve your, your, your career. And here's a way better for us about the support, about the money wise, about you can live it through dreams, you know what I'm saying? No, no, for sure. And of course, a, a lot more opportunity, I would say. Yeah. Now, I know uh, a few years that you were already here, man, you actually fought uh, in MMA. You competed in MMA. You actually won a title through the Fury FC uh, promotion. Um, w- what did that mean to you when you won that belt? So, I came right here actually to fight kickboxing Muay Thai. Yeah. was hard to fight the fights. And uh, my boss, Jay-Z Arito, said, man, let's get a challenge. He has been working with me for a couple months before the, the, the I do my MMA fights here, my first MMA fights with the cage rest and all this stuff to adjust my game for MMA, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the three first fight was good. And then they put it for an entire shot against the, I forgot his name right now. Right, so, right. But uh, his strike as well was a really good fight. And uh, I just became the champion of the MMA. But uh, I intend to come here to fight more time kickboxing. No, no, and of course, it was just opportunity. Once again, I mean, of course, you took it just because you couldn't find a fight. Now, uh, the past, I would, I would say in the past year, uh, even last year, I mean, uh, uh, Muay Thai picked up a lot more here in Texas. And of course, at least to the event coming up, it's going to be for the Texas Muay Thai Championship. Uh, you have another title fight coming up, man. So tell us, uh, how, how's training going for this fight? No, it has been so good. I'm so happy for the Muay Thai community here in Texas as well because the Texas uh, Muay Thai Championship uh, create a lot of opportunity for the Muay Thai fighters because as a Muay Thai fighter, uh, uh, I fought a couple of times in Lions, but never in yeah. Texas. You know what I'm saying? It was uh, Wyoming and Vegas in right. Boston. I got that's why I get my, my, my national title in right. Boston. But I'm so excited. After five years, it's gonna be my first time I'm gonna fight uh, a Muay Thai in here in, in Texas. I'm really excited about it. No, and the fact that there's a title behind it, of course, I mean, means a little bit more, right? Ah, yeah, way more. And about, about my opponent as well, I'm so excited to find him. He's a big name here in Texas. Yeah. He has a, a fought out of the seas in Thailand yeah. a couple of times. It's going to be the bet, the bet of Washington that people say, right? He's a no, yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. I saw that and I was like, is that a typo, man? But no, man. I mean, that's <laughs> one thing you guys have in common. Another, I mean, the other one being that you both have a, a huge opportunity to get this championship title. And uh, I gotta say, I mean, the bout itself is gonna be in welter- the welterweight division. Yes. And now, uh, when it comes to to the weight division, man, I mean, uh, of course, I saw one of your uh, your students earlier cutting weight. Uh, how much weight do you cut the week up? So, for, for myself right now, for the 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 weight class, I'm about right now I'm just ten pounds over, but uh, a total is twenty three pounds. Okay, okay. And of course, uh, the last week is mostly a uh, water weight, correct? Ah, uh, yeah, correct. And uh, because you do compete, and I mean, uh, do you plan on staying busy this year in Muay Thai? I, uh, especially with the show right now here in kind of uh, our states, I think it's going to be a way, manage, a way easier to manage my career. Yeah. Yeah. We had direct contact with uh, the promoter and the matchmaker as well. It's going to be good. I'm really so excited for this year. No, and of course, I mean, I know they've been keeping it in, I think it's in the Texas City, correct? Once yeah. Again? Uh, the last time was Texas yeah. City, right now, been in Houston. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's and uh, new right now. I'm so excited. What would it take for them to come here and put an event here in San Antonio, man? So you win, you know, you go out there, win that title, you get to defend it here in town. So man, that's <laughs> the dream coming through. Why right? the matchmaker yeah. live here? Actually. Yo, yeah, yeah, exactly, man. So I'm like, hey, you <laughs> yeah, know, if they're watching, here, yeah. man, bring it over yeah. here, man. And of course, man, you have the support. I mean, not just from uh, the students. I mean, from your fans, your, your friends and family. But um, because you do uh, teach here in the gym, so do, do you get access to to work out pretty much 24/7? Yeah, sure. Uh, that's 
uh, uh, work pretty well because I'm the uh, head coach yeah. here, but I have a lot of support as well. I have the Jake, like uh, you coach HR, then right. I have Eduardo from HOJ as well. He has been uh, the both else coach. You have Jay, the new guy, he just come from California, yes. he signed up and students right now, he helped uh, us a lot. Every single day he do, doing math, uh, type pads for us, that has been really good. No, you see, and I mean, being uh, the year head instructor here, man, I mean, a lot of people think, okay, well, you know everything. There's always things to learn. I mean, there's different people that come in and, and you kind of see their point of view. I mean, do you utilize what you learn from other people as well? Oh, yeah, for sure. But even though, like, I, I'm a head coach here, but uh, yeah, I was good. Someone else can take a look at you, right? Yeah. Because that's kind of basically impossible to teach yourself. You know what right, I'm right. You need some, some friends, some teammates, the coaches who are with more experience, all different experience you can share with you. And uh, the both of y'all can come by all those techniques and see the, the, the tiny mistake yeah. to get better and improve your game. No, and of course, when, uh, being said that, I mean, did you go back and watch old footage and, and look at some of the stuff that you could have done better? Or did you kind of come back and, okay, I got to fix this or I got to work on this? Oh, yeah, we, we does that with Jake Rozak. He's really yeah. good about it. You kind of analyze it. even single thing. And after that, you have a conversation with the beer sometimes, you know what I'm saying? No, no, for sure, <laughs> and man. Then, and then you can uh, uh, fix your game, improve your game and strategy-wise as well. No, no, okay, man, and um, I mean, being from Brazil, I mean, of course, was it a culture shock when you moved to San Antonio, or did you kind of feel at home when you moved here? So, surprised, I feel at home because I, uh, the Texas, they are so homey about inviting you to a barbecue and uh, have a drink. Oh, yeah, you got to love that. Friendly, uh, friendly people here, uh, it was, was easy to adapt for myself. No, and of course, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've made new friends, I mean, just from, from the gym alone. Um, what, what is one of the things that you miss from home? I mean, of course, I know family, and but is there anything yeah. else out there that you miss? Uh, yeah, yeah. Some of the some of the holidays in Brazil, uh, I, I miss I miss the the, the sea, the ocean. Right, I'm, I'm live close oh, by yeah, the ocean. Bro. But uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to fight for this belt. And after two weeks of this belt, I'm gonna come back to see my family. It was nice, man. And that's a good way to celebrate. I know exactly. the last time you won the uh, the title. I mean, of course, you took yeah. a little trip and took it with you, man. Yeah, it was. <laughs> And I mean, uh, your family being in Brazil, man, I mean, uh, are they proud of you? Do you get a lot of support from home? Ah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I got a lot of support from my, my city, from my yeah. family in general. I, I still have the gym over there in Brazil. And uh, I, I still have my followers, my students, yeah. and uh, they all support me so well. And of course, I mean, being that you came over here from, from Brazil, man, are, are there students maybe or even people out there that you, you'll see coming through here even more? Maybe yeah. come visit? Has been happening here. The I was going to say, we got yeah. one here, man. <laughs> we have Lohan East TV. He's yeah. Fury. He's my student in Brazil. Yeah. since 13 years old. Yeah. Man, you see, and, and that's one of the things that I loved about the fact that you came here was that uh, you brought a lot of, a lot of more opportunity. You, you're, bring, you're opening doors. I mean, of course, uh, there's more competition for other schools who kind of, you know, put their test themselves against, man. So, uh, so yeah, you know, I, th I, I'm glad you're here, bro, in other words. But, um, I mean, there's a lot more coming. Like you said, you're going to fight for this title. You're going to win the title, defend it, hopefully. Like I said, if they're, they're watching this and they're hearing, maybe they'll bring it to San Antonio. I know uh, Cowboys Dance House has always been an academy for uh, for combat sports, man. So maybe they'll bring it back and, and we'll get to fight here at home. Yeah, hopefully. And now let me ask you, uh, when it comes to training, I mean, of course, Muay Thai, uh, what are some of the things that you work on uh, for conditioning? Like what, what is it that helps your cardio? Uh, so you, you, did, you do straight conditions as well with a, a mad ball, kettlebells, but all those kind of, you try to kind of simulate the situation of the fight right. Right, with overweight, just to increase your endurance. But uh, basically, about the, the training camp, I can say, if I can put in the percentage, 85% is yeah. through Muay Thai, even though the cardio, you go pads, you do everything related about my martial arts. Nice, man. And was Muay Thai the first martial arts that you that you ever did? Actually, no. Actually, no. I started in Brazil. So normal, the people from the the ghetto, as I'm from, we started with capoeira because free in the street. Yeah, it was my first one capoeira, and uh, right after capoeira, I started doing the kickboxing. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and kick and the kickboxing kind of similar to Muay Thai, and uh, as a kickboxer, I fought a Muay Thai in Brazil. And vice yeah. versa, a lot of Muay Thai guys fight kickboxing right. to get the, the, the good experience as a and a ring, you know what I'm saying? No, no, definitely, man. And of mm -hmm. course, like you said, I mean, there's not much going on, so you got to do something, right? Exactly, man. exactly. And as far as uh, uh, capoeira, man, I mean, how far did you progress on in, in that martial art? So, so good because capoeira, this is a mix with martial arts yeah. and dance. That's improved a lot on my fans. 
the guys have followed me and they say, man, the so yeah, bro. Uh, 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 hard to fight with you because you're so unpredictable. You had a lot of fans yeah. to make you a flinch with some movement. It does come from the capoeira. It does come from my culture with the dance as well. I kind of, I come by with a, I'm not orthodox Muay Thai fighter, right. you know what I'm saying? I try and mix it up as much as I can to get on a straight point. No, and of course, I want you to bring that up because, of course, uh, you use the term watching Thai. And of course, that's your style. So that's basically what, what it means, right? I mean, it's yeah. whatever you, all the both uh, martial arts forms that you combine and experience. And of course, and now you have your own style. Yeah. And now, because you did, uh, you are the head instructor here, man. Do you do, uh, you have these guys do dance as well, man, or no? <laughs> Sometimes we play. We have the best students in Brazil as well. His name is Jefferson. Yeah. He's a Lions fighter as well. And sometimes you, you put the music here in the Capoeira. Oh. And they, they ask to do the cup demonstration about it. And man, that looks like it's dance. Because the back the yeah. day for the slave uh, 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 fight for the freedom, yeah, they no. they need they need the life for the the, the owner, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then put the dance in between, but that's not a dance. I can't kick off. No, yes, that dance. bro. Yeah, yes. because we even make that joke here in the gym sometimes. No, you see, and, yeah. and uh, the one thing I like about Capoeira, man, was because. Uh, Growing up, I mean, of course, we had a movie. I don't know if you've seen it called Only the Strong. Ah, yeah. And ever yeah. since then, I said, man, I want to try this. And I was, I was, uh, it caught my attention because of the fact, like you said, it's smooth. You're, you're, yeah. It looks like you're dancing, but you're throwing kicks out of nowhere, man. Spin yeah. kicks. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of crazy movement, man. So, of course, uh, are do you use a lot of those moves now during your fights? I mean, you said earlier that, you know, your, your kicks are kind of unpredictable. So, the, the, I, I use a lot of the movies. Uh, the movie about the fans. Right. The, 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 the fence from Capoeira really works well in the kickboxing Muay Thai, even though it may be able to use there. Like, as long as you have the, the body language, the mindset, and you can mix it up in the right way, yeah. that's pretty helpful for your game and become like a, a, a unknown thing. It's so unpredictable. Yeah. No, no, for sure, man. And of course, man, I know you have a class coming up, man, so I'm going to cut this short. But, uh, but I want to thank you, man. I want to wish you the best come fight night. I mean, like, like I said, it's going to be in Houston. This is going to be for uh, your uh, another Muay Thai title that you're going to capture. And uh, anything you want to say before we wrap this up, bro? So, I just, man, I'm so happy to all the support I have here, all those coaches and teammates. And I'm so excited to this fight, especially for the, the, the opponent. is a big guy. Yes, sir. Big name, I mean. And also, it's the first time in Texas. People already uh, 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 joke with me. Hey, well, you don't watch it anymore. Right now, you watch in Texas. That's <laughs> there you go, so man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> man, I and like then, that, man. And uh, man, I'm so excited. I can't wait for this, this day, right? The January 21st. Uh, put up, guys. I have a ticket available. Go over there. It's going to be a good show. No, no, for sure, man. I thank you. Best of luck. And uh, as always, everybody out there, of course, Washington, Luis. This is Spider the Fight Card Podcast. Till next time, follow up.